Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm going to be doing a channel update video because I've gotten a little bit behind on my reviews because I've been too busy out having fun flying. I went on a road trip with the Let's Drone Out guys. So Let's Drone Out is a weekly podcast on a Thursday night at 8pm in the UK and those guys kindly invited me out to go and fly with them and I got some really nice footage. I took the floss here and we went out to a castle, we went to the beach and I got loads of footage but I'm not quite sure what to do with it because I just went out flying for fun so let me know if you'd be interested in seeing some of that footage. And I also met up with NJ Tech as well who I also originally met on Let's Drown Out. He's got a fantastic YouTube channel and he's also a rock star. He's the guitarist of Kim Wilde's band and yeah he kindly invited me out to hang out with him and also watch the band which was incredible I would recommend anyone to go and watch the show it's fantastic but yes I've been busy having fun and yeah I need to catch up with my videos so a lot of the things that I have planned for the channel are build videos so there might be a little bit of silence on the channel while I catch up now, I got sent this guy, this is the Happy Model Trainer 90, and I thought it was going to be a bind and fly, but it's turned up as a kit. It's a one cell brushless micro, and it looks really interesting. So, yeah, really tiny model. The flight controller and ESC board is like an all in one. And we've got a receiver, we've got an all in one camera. The frame looks really flimsy so I'm not too sure about that with little tiny tiny motors so yeah I thought this would be an interesting one because I think the last one cell build I did was the Nano X so I thought this might make an interesting video to build this guy up so HLRC sent me their stack. This is the XJB F440. It's a 20 by 20 stack, but it's designed for a 5 inch model, which I think is a really good idea. So we have got 40 amp, 32 bit ESCs. We have got an F4 flight controller and then a VTX, which has smart audio. So I thought this would be a really great opportunity to build a 5-inch lightweight copter. You guys know I love lightweight copters, but now we can go really light with these stacks. So I bought the Mode 2 Ghost Frame. This is a frame designed by Seth, the RC addict. I'm sure many of you are subscribed to him. It weighs just 55 grams, so I thought, yeah, this is going to be a good combination. And I've got these motors that I never use. They are the Brother Hobby R4 and they are a 2206 2700 kV. You guys know I like motors that absolutely scream. And of course with this being a lightweight model then we can do that and not draw too many amps. So yeah, 2700 kV. They don't have the small base so they could be lighter. But I have these motors in, so I thought, why not make a build? So, yeah, I've got some more of those motors here. Got a Runcam Micro, XM Plus, some silicon, some buzzers, some standoffs. I thought it would make a nice video, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. So when I went on the road trip, I took my Hyperlite Floss. I would say this was my main rig. And everyone was really intrigued by it, I think, because it, it's such an unusual frame and it's so loud with the high KV motors. And I told Bob about it, aka Kebab FPV, so another one of my favorite YouTube channels. And he said, well, check this guy out. This is the flow style, it's the or floss style. I'm not quite sure, maybe you can correct me, Bob. But it is a freestyle version of the Floss. Now, I love this guy, but you do get motors in the shot, which never bothers me. However, they have this freestyle version, and Bob has very kindly sent this to me, and I just need to add a VTX and a receiver, and then you can use the brain... 3D printed mounts for the floss and it will just go straight 
on there so thank you Bob this thing looks fantastic and I can't wait to get this going and I'll do a video on it so some of you might recognize this logo here and you know the Let's Drone Out podcast has enabled me to speak to some amazing people and I was very privileged to have a conversation with David Winderstall of RC Explorer and Flight Test, I'm sure many of you know him, and I mentioned that I'd never flown a tricopter and he said, oh well, I'll send you one, make a video on your channel and that was just really kind so that is this box here and actually David sent it to Jack from Let's Drone Out and he brought it up when they did their road trip so this is the baby tricopter it's like a mini quad but the tricopter version and I'm definitely going to be out of my comfort zone when I'm building this guy because I've never done it before but I'm looking forward to reading all up about it and I'll make a video of the process but David already has an amazing build video of this guy so you know I'm gonna do my own version of it and maybe show where I went wrong because surely I'm going to but yeah we've got the servo there we got the PDB from RC Explorer we have got these 32-bit, 35-amp ESCs, we've got all of the servo mounts there, and then we've got the F3 flight controller, which I think is specifically designed for a tricopter. It's going to be a lot of fun to build this one. So I just want to respond to a couple of requests that I got in the comments. So one of the comments asked whether I was going to be doing a review of the new Ionway Commander V2 goggles and I asked if I could get a pair in for review and I was told that there aren't enough initial samples to get sent to me. So I would say check out the bigger channels, there's probably going to be some reviews of those coming out soon and I will probably eventually get some in. And my initial thoughts on them is I think that they are quite expensive. That was one thing that was good about the originals is they were affordable and now they're more expensive than Fat Sharks and personally I think that is going to be a struggle for them because Fat Shark has great customer service which is local and you aren't going to get that with Omway. So the Fat Sharks are now cheaper. The field of view is very similar. I think they said 45 degree field of view on the new Omways, but no 16 by 9 which I know a lot of people like with the Omways, and no switching. So yeah, it's an interesting choice for Omway there. And lastly, I want to respond to a comment that said, am I going to be checking out the new Futon? So if you aren't aware, the Fury B Futon, it was a fantastic model, sadly discontinued, lightweight, very cheap. And they have brought out or are bringing out a sequel called the Futon 2 under the Halifar name. I think it's the same. I think they've just changed the name. I think it's the same team. And I would just be cautious because from my experience, every sequel that has come out of a RC product hasn't been as good as the original. It's kind of like movies. They try to overdo it. And looking at the Futon 2, it looks like they've sort of gone with a Floss 2 style. They've gone heavy on the motors, I think a 2305. So yeah, I'm a little bit reserved about it, but I am going to get one in, so I'll be checking it out, so stay tuned for that. So while I'm here, I just want to give a quick update on my music on the channel. So in the last news video, I made a straw poll and thank you to everyone who voted. I didn't word it very well. I gave two options and the first one was would you enjoy different content on the channel that was non-RC related and I would only maybe do one video a month or two videos a month that was maybe a music video or maybe something else like a science video and the majority of people voted for that and the other option I gave was would you unsubscribe if I did that and sadly you know a few people did click that and I think from those results I've decided that I am going to occasionally do different videos on this channel and the way that I see it is I, I'm subscribed to a lot of people but I don't watch every single video I watch the videos that interest me you know I look at the title and if it doesn't interest me I'll 
just skip it. And I think that if you are subscribed to this channel, then I think there are probably people out there that do that as well. So if you aren't into the music, I would just say please just skip those videos and you know I'm gonna continue doing quadcopter reviews and quadcopter videos it's just every now and then I have other interests and I do actually think I'm gonna still set up a second channel because some people made some great points how that I'm not getting enough exposure just putting the music on this channel um, that is true so I think eventually I'm gonna set up a second channel for the music and maybe put some stuff on there that I just can't on this channel but when I do that I will let you know so there you go that is my channel update video and if you enjoy my content and can afford to do so then by all means please donate to patreon that is really helping and thank you to everyone that has done that so far and as always thank you so much for watching please continue to subscribe cheers